When Umar ibn Khattab entered the Prophet's room, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he saw no cupboards, no luxury, nothing to sit on, no fruits, no dessert, no nothing. He sat on the floor and looked at him and said, Ya Rasulullah. He started crying, Umar ibn Khattab. He started crying, saying, Oh Prophet of Allah, what have you got? The Prophet sallallahu said, Ya Umar, what makes you cry? He said, Oh Prophet of Allah, the Roman king, the Persian king, their seats, their thrones is made out of pearls and gold and silver and rubies. Their clothes is silk and gold. Well, you are the best of creatures chosen by the Almighty Lord. Look at how they're living and look how you're living. You know what the Prophet said? said? He said, Umar with a smile. Isn't it, doesn't it suffice us that for us is the hereafter and for them is this world and only this world? It's their paradise. Let them have it. We don't want it. We want eternal bliss and not temporary bliss. Because this is all it is in this life. A bit of enjoyment, that's all there is. And that enjoyment gets forgotten as soon as one dip in hellfire that happens to them. One dip, all oh, the excitement and enjoyment in this life is finished. One dip in paradise, all oh, the hardship, the burden that you went through on Muslim, you forget all about. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never, he never wore silk, he never wore gold, he never dressed arrogantly, he never appeared in front of people like he was a king or an emperor, even when he was the absolute ruler. And it was common for people to look around and want to think, he should be sitting up someplace in a chair on a throne like other leaders. He should be wearing some gown of gold. He should be wearing some kind of crown. He should be a man with people around him serving him. But when they came in and they looked around, it was a common question. Who is Muhammad? Where is he? No one could tell who was the Prophet وسلم, among his followers because his clothes and what he ate and where he chose to sit was never different from the other people. You tell me, name one leader in the world that could compare with that. Any one of us, if we just get a raise on our jobs and they give us a little office, we get a big chair. If we make some money, we want a big house. We want a big car. And the Prophet وسلم, he used to sleep on a mat, like that mat on the floor. Only thing it was made from palm fiber, from dried grass. And that's how he slept. On a dirt floor with no furniture in his house. So I ask my brothers and sisters who are listening to me today, oh, you who say that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you say that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is your guide and your prophet. Do you not wish to be next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Do you not wish that you could come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and grab his hand and shake it and give him a hug and say, oh Rasulullah, how much I missed you. Oh Rasulullah, how much I loved you, how much I read about you. Oh Rasulullah, how much I wanted to, wanted to be with you. Do you not wish this? Even as a poor man, he wasn't wealthy. He stayed poor all his life, to his death. But he could have had the riches of the world. His generosity, he said, what do I want with this? On one occasion, he saw the wealth and he saw the Sahaba talking and he, he looked at them, he said, this is what you love. And he kicked it and he walked away angry. Like this is dunya, worthless. On another occasion, he's sleeping on a straw mat until marks are left on his body and Umar come crying. Oh, Messenger of Allah, at least something soft. At least something soft. 
I can't bear to see the, the marks on your body. I can't bear to see you hurt and suffering. And he said, oh woman, what do I want of this dunya? What do I want of this world? The is far better. The is far better. The is far better.